Hi everybody. Um, so far we've been working on linear equations where all of the variables are on a single side of the equation. So now we're going to take a look at what we do when variables are on both sides of the equation. So our learning target for today is I can solve a linear equation with variables on both sides. One of the main things you've got to think about when you do this is you've got to think about the scale and the balance idea and anything that you take off or add on to one side you have to take off or add on to the other side. So we're solving for x and again the key is we need to get x's all on one side. And in order to do this, we either have to add or take off x's from both sides of the equa equation and get one of our variable parts of the expression to zero out. Normally, it's easier if you try to get rid of the lesser um, number in front of the x. So if I look at my equation here. On the left side I have a 5x, on the right side I have a 7x, so it'll be easier for us to work with. We'll get a positive number to divide by if we get rid of the lesser number which is the 5x. So as we kind of worked um, with the chips and the cards earlier, um, we're gonna take 5x's off both the right side and off the left side. And again, when I subtract the same thing from itself, I get 0. So 5x minus 5x is 0. That's minus 6 equals 2x. And, you know, 0 minus 6, that's just negative 6. So I have negative 6 equals 2x. And then I just finish the problem by dividing both sides by 2, and I end up with x equals negative 3. So the goal is, if we either take off or add on the x's to both sides and zero out one of these x's, then we'll be able to get a really basic equation to solve. So here's our second example, 17 minus 4x equals 8 minus 7x. And again, it's easier if I try to zero out the lesser number of x's in my variable. So I look at both sides. On the left side, I have a minus 4x. On the right side, I have a minus 7x. Uh, since the minus 7x is lesser, it'll be easier if we zero that out. So if I have minus 7x in order to zero that off, I have to add 7x. That'll zero that out. And since I added 7x to the right side, I also have to add 7x to the left side. So we now have 17 minus 4 plus 7, that gives me plus 3x, equals 8, and then minus 7x plus 7x, that's 0. So now I have 17 plus 3x equals 8, and now it just turned back into a simple two-step equation. Minus 17 minus 17, so 3x equals 8 minus 17 which will be negative 9, divide by 3, divide by 3, and x equals negative 3. Okay, so same thing. Once we zeroed off the x's from one side, you're just back to a simple two-step equation. You can solve it in about 10 seconds once you get to that point. Now, one of the things that might help sometimes is this concept of moving the x over to make it positive. 
And so I'll kind of show an example of that here. Um, you know, you could just solve this equation by minus 18 minus 18 opposite of x equals uh, that would be 27, divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1, x equals negative 27. However, you know, sometimes people get confused with negative x's, so we could use what we just did to maybe make this problem a little easier. And so since I have a negative 1x over here, what I could do, I could zero this out by adding x, to both sides and so that's 18 negative x and positive x that's just 0 then 45 plus x remember those are not like terms so I gotta keep them separated so that's just 45 plus x and on the left side we just end up with 18 and now it's just a one-step equation, subtract 45, and x equals negative 27. Again, does it matter which order you do things in or which way you do it? No. As long as you make sure you're taking the same things off or adding the same things to both sides, and all your other steps are following logically and they work, Anything that's mathematically correct and logical and gets you the correct answer is perfectly fine by me. But, you know, this just kind of illustrates it's sometimes easier to work with when you can get a positive x at the end. Alright, last example we're going to do. Um, we're going to have an example here that's going to require some simplifying. So we have x minus 6 times the quantity 3 minus x equals 5 times x plus 4. So now, if you remember when we did multi-step equations, you only want to work with one side of the time. So make sure, take your hand, thumb, take something, and we're going to cover up the right side of the equation. So now I have x minus 6 times the quantity 3 minus x and now we need to simplify this. So remember, order of operations, parentheses first. 3 minus x is already simplified, so that's done. No exponents. Multiply. Multiplication, here's the negative 6 touching the parentheses. That means I need to distribute the negative 6 to the 3 and to the opposite of x. So that's going to be x, this will be minus 18, and that will now be plus 6x, and then I combine those like terms, 1x plus 6x, that gives me 7x, so 7x minus 18. Okay, so now we've got the left side simplified, let's not worry about that now, let's cover up the left side, so take your hand, cover it up. Make sure you can't see it. And now just work with the right side. So 5 times x plus 4. Let's distribute. Again, I do 5 times x and 5 times 4. So that's going to be 5x plus 20. Oops. And now that we've done that, now we can just unhide everything and let's just finish solving this. Um, I've got 5x's here, 7 here, 5 is less so let's take the 5x's off both sides minus 5x minus 5x so that zeroes out and when I work over here 7x minus 5x that's 2x minus 18 Make sure also, whenever you subtract x's from both sides, make sure that you actually write the x when you do that. If not, you might accidentally subtract 5 from the 18 or subtract it from the 20. And that's not good. Remember, those aren't like terms. You can only add or subtract x's to other x's. So make sure when you're writing what you're subtracting, 
Always make sure that you write the x when you're adding or subtracting x's. So finish that off, plus 18, 2x, that just zeroes out, that's 38, divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 19. So that's the end of our video on solving equations with variables on both sides. So now, uh, hopefully you can go try some practice exercises and do well at those.